We are here behind the scenes with Mike Lee. You just shot a Subway commercial. How are your acting skills? They're getting a lot better. Are they actually. good? I mean, we're yeah. Hollywood, so we're you know we're pretty judgy. I know. <laughs> um, well, when it comes out, you can tell me how how it went, but. They're getting good. It, it, it's just, it's a lot of fun on set. Yeah. I joke about your acting, but this is, you're legit. Legit's a strong word. Like Mark <coughs> Wahlberg, the Wahlbergers, you have a cameo on the new show. What's this about? Uh, yeah, was, Mark and I met on set. Uh, he was filming Transformers 4 uh, in Chicago, and we met and uh, just kind of hit it off. He's a great guy and a big boxing fan, yeah. so um, we had spent some time together, and then I was out in L.A., and uh, we shot a little bit at his house had a How lot of fun did that happen so did you know it was coming or did he surprise you that you were going to be on the show he surprised me with that because i thought that we were just kind of spending the day hanging out and i showed up and there were uh cameras there and they were filming a lot of different things he has a ring in his house <laughs> so it was cool I, I started hitting the bags and messing around you know for me that's awesome and like i said he's a huge boxing fan that's yeah. where he trained um to get ready for the fighter yeah and so did you know him when he was filming that, that i movie? didn't know him then no you could have given um, him some pointers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he got a lot of pointers from a lot of different, <laughs> a lot of different pros. But that's the thing. I've I've seen Mark fight, and he can he can fight. Normally, I, I watch boxing movies, and it's just really uh, you do. You're like, oh, I can't hey. help it. You know, right. I mean, I'm constantly critiquing, and even myself when I watch myself, I'm critiquing. So, but I saw Mark in the fighter, and I remember telling my dad, "This is the first time I saw an actor that could actually fight and get in there." And Dang. Move. So it was it was cool. Now here we are in the freezing cold in New mm -hmm. York. Super Bowl week. If I'm going to ask you, because you're not a player, you're putting together, you're going to take four guys, make a dream team. Four guys for a football dream team? Yeah. Well, we need more for the team, but we'll start. <laughs> Let's start off with four. <laughs> all right, well. And you could put see. yourself in there if you want. For, no, first of all, we'll start with uh, my man, Justin Tuck, who just I just shot the commercial with. My other buddy, uh, Golden Tate, I went to college with. And then another uh, friend of mine plays for the uh, the Patriot. Well, he played for the Patriots. Now he plays for the Colts. His name's uh, Sergio Brown. And then God, the fourth one, I've always wanted to play in the NFL, so I'll just say me. <laughs> Put yourself in exactly. there. Why not? Yeah. So let's talk. So wait, what's your favorite sandwich? I like the six-inch turkey on wheat, and I love just loading up with veggies. Uh, I usually stay away from like the mayonnaise. I just do like mustard, right. oil, and vinegar. A lot of times, I'll do double meat on it as well. You, try to you, back you're cars. crazy, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> I, I am a little bit crazy. Yeah. Did it, but I heard a great story. I mean, you actually were, and this is why it's such a great team between you and Subway, because you really did eat Subway as part of your training before you were a Subway famous fan. I did. And you're, something with your dad or, you know. Yeah, so it's, it's a wild story. Um, I'd been eating Subway. I'm a very superstitious person and an even more superstitious athlete when it comes to training and getting ready for a fight. And in the amateurs, I was fighting in the Golden Gloves tournaments. And right after weigh-ins, I'd always eat a little bit of Subway. It was easy to get and it was carbs, protein, and um, I just kept winning. And so it kind of became a tradition in every single pro fight uh, after the weigh-ins, my dad hands me a little bit of Subway and all I have to do is get at least one bite in. Um, and then I, I just feel good and I'm undefeated, so I'm doing something right. <laughs> oh, wow. But you have a fight coming up. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're looking to fight March 15th. We have to finalize the details, but um, there's a lot of good opportunities for me to, to fight on NBC, uh, NBC Sports Network. So I think that'll be a phenomenal platform for me. Um, I went to Notre Dame and NBC broadcasts all of Notre Dame's games. So to bring those viewers, uh, those casual fans to hopefully come over and watch me, I think it's... Uh, it's it's a great um, a great marriage. Well, speaking of boxing, um, I could possibly be your opponent in March. I don't know if anybody told you, so I wanted to have a little sparring session with you. You want to? Yeah. You want me to teach you something first? Yeah, you might have to do that first. All right. All right well, how, well, I'm how about, a lefty, so should I hold? You're lefty. Okay, I'll teach you the stance first, really quick. Then. Okay. <laughs> so if you're lefty, you want your right foot forward. Okay. Okay. So this is gonna be your jab hand, and that's yep. gonna be this is your power. This okay. is the money. Right. So. This is your jab hand, but yeah. what a lot of fighters like to do is blind them with the jab, so you kind of just flick it out there. It's yeah. almost like just, you're not even worried about hitting it because you're setting up the, the big shot, okay? First of all, make sure you have a fist because you'll break your hand, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna want to jab out with this hand, with this one, that's, that's your jab, and then you're gonna come through with that power punch right there and basically aim straight for the nose. There it is. So we'll try to get a little bit, a little bit faster. 
okay? I'm setting down the mic. I'm getting serious. So I'll walk up and that's just real quick. There it is. I think that was almost perfect. Oh my gosh. You're a great teacher. I am. I would I am ask you to teacher. try it back, but no, we don't no, want that. No, no. No, want that. no, I really yeah. don't. Thank you for chatting with us. This was a lot of fun. Absolutely. We'll Thank see you, you in Hollywood. Me. Sounds good.